Yeah. This is a sandy hill and it's pretty steep. So as many of you probably expected, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> um, I wish I would have a video of me pulling this with the two wagons. Um, for obviously those that have been around farm equipment, you know, like um, when uh, when you're just... Uh, yeah, yeah. So with, with the two wagons, which is about 65,000 pounds of corn in them, here, I'm gonna take it out of uh, four wheel low because I was optimistic. That didn't even remotely work. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's there's at least 20,000 pounds uh, in that. And so pulling down the road, I probably would have been okay. Not the safest, but yeah, it wasn't gonna work to pull a wagon like that up a sandy hill. So, <laughs> but I tried. Oh, that was bad. I was I was optimistic. Okay, I'll put my seatbelt on so you guys don't have to hear me do that. Um, I was really optimistic. I don't know why I was optimistic, but <laughs> um, so I'll go and hook my truck up to the header trailer. Um, oh, now the truck is dirty. Um, but I did just get good news. The elevator is open till five today. Um, so. My mom is going to come back with the tractor and then uh, I'll take that last wagon and this property over New here text is done. message from dad. Yep, we'll uh, finish everything up, so. Um, but I guess uh, even if they hadn't, um, I was just going to put the tarp on because it's supposed to be pretty cold and cool and could have just done it that way, so. All right, let's do this. When I have the two wagons, um, thankfully, you know, my mom's been able to haul Hold the wagons for me, um, but I I do this part for her because it takes a little bit of uh, strategy. You try to get going going when it's uh, not as sandy and and then uh, get up to speed and shift yourself down and then just hope it uh, hope the tractor can just churn away. Uh, and uh, thankfully it did work um, so yeah I may put the tarp on that when I come back through I'm gonna go get the 9500 get her cleaned off and get her in the barn before it potentially starts raining but uh, overall about 70 acres done uh, over here um, that's that's having started Thursday night, but then obviously having the uh, Well, it really The combine breaking down not breaking down. It's not the combines fault um, but uh, the issues with the combine that need to be fixed um, You know that really didn't delay it just made me be up until 4 a.m. Friday morning but uh, besides that, um, did the allotment. So how I typically work is uh, I get, um, usually come up at night, get three wagons full, full take them to, to the elevator. The first thing when the elevator opens up, empty two of them, take them back with my pickup truck to the field and uh, it start combining and then typically my mom has then brought the other wagon back and just keep churning and then once they close at night uh, do the same thing get three there empty them in the morning and uh, that's just how how it goes nice crick so I had posted it on my Instagram maybe I'll throw it up at the end of this video this is not what this looked like last year. Uh, not even in the slightest. So the ability to bring 
the wagons to this back field has just been just crazy time saving. Uh, like I said, every bin full last year had to go through that. It was not efficient. Um, so it was nice, nice being able to bring this out here and yeah. So we get the combine again. I'm just, uh, I don't know if I'll get a chance to go take a video of what the combine looks like. I don't I mean it. It is what it is. The final drive is resting on the axle or on the rim, and we'll need to get fixed. But a few things to be thankful for. One, the last major ride with that was. You know, going 24, 25 miles an hour down a main road with Hudson in it. And uh, had that happened then, that wouldn't have been good. And uh, um, I learned from Griggs Farms that, you know, I'd, I've been putting the head around the trailer and going that just because I haven't gone down the road with it. And if I do, I'm not going to have Hudson in the combine with me because that's. That was some bad stuff for those that had seen that. Um, but, uh, so thankful I didn't do that. And, you know, thankful I procrastinated on selling the 9500. Uh, had, had, had it sold already, you know, would have been 70 acres less. And, yeah, but I still had the hat on the 9760 and, so she did some really good work. So I'm gonna call it a video. I know this is just been me walking. This can't be exciting in the least, but uh, call it a video and wait for my mom to get back with the tractor and then I'll take that last, last load um, to the elevator and get everything put away. Probably the next time I'll be out is uh, is when they get the 9500 fixed or 9760 fixed. So, yep, we'll get, get moving her. She has been a really good combine. 9500 is what my dad dad had at the end so hmm.